Hello, this is Dustin, and in this video I'll be discussing the filters and statistics features within Poker Snowy. So first let's go up to the top and click Filters. And here the Filters window pops up. And most of these are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just try to walk you through it pretty quickly. Uh, first we have the Basic Filters tab, where we can select uh, all dates, or we can select a specific date, or specific dates to filter our hands for. Next we can select what poker rooms we want to include, what stakes we would like to include, and what screen names we would like to include. And of course you can select or deselect any of these simply by clicking on the box. Next we can filter for how many players were dealt into the hand. And now let's take a look at the advanced filters. Here we can filter down by position, if we won or lost the hand, and uh, how much. And then we can see if there was a raise on any particular street. We can see if we were facing a 3-bet preflop and what action we took, if we were facing a 4-bet preflop and what action we took. And uh, finally, if we go down to whole cards, then we can choose specific hands to filter for. So if we want to just uh, choose our pocket pairs, we can simply click pairs and all of the pairs are selected. And of course, we can manually select uh, any hands that we would like as well. But uh, for now, we're just going to click all so that we see all of the hands that we've played. So that's going to cover the filters. And now let's go over all these statistics. First, we're brought to the overview page where we can see how Poker Snowy rated our play based on the error rate. And it gives us a rating. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I found someone to send me a bunch of hands that he played at 5NL. So we're going to be looking at that database. Um, it's going to show us how many blunders we made, and of course we can browse through the blunders. Anytime you see a hyperlink, uh, text in blue with an underline, then that means you can click it, and it's going to take you to a different page, of course. Uh, we can see the profit, how much we won or lost total, and by the hand. And um, it's worth noting that for a good evaluation of your error rate, you're going to need at least one or 2,000 hands. And of course the more hands you have, the better. Uh, for some of these, you're going to want at least 10,000 hands or so to get an accurate description of your play. So let's just go down the tabs on the left side. We can click Profit and Loss to basically, again, see how much we've won or lost, uh, both before the rake and after the rake, and both at showdown and when we did not see showdown. That's pretty self-explanatory. Next, let's take a look at Error Details. Here we have a breakdown by street and we see how much we lost in EV based on the errors that we've made throughout these hands. So you can see that we're losing quite a lot on the flop, it seems like. Uh, we've made a lot, quite a lot of blunders on the flop, so that may be a spot for this player to look at. And in fact, that's also where our error rate is the highest. And here's a little pie grid down here to show you visually what your errors look like street by street. Now the balance page is one of the most interesting one of Poker Snowy's strengths is its balance strategy, and on this page we can get a sense of how balanced we've been playing. So this percentage that we see is basically the number of times the player did a certain action divided by the number of times Poker Snowy would have made that action. So of course if that number is the same, then it's going to be 100%, which means we're playing exactly as Poker Snowy would play. And when it varies from that, then we are making a certain amount of errors. It's worth noting that when a mixed strategy is encountered, so for example, if Poker Snowy would fold 30% of the time and raise 70% of the time, then Poker Snowy will consider 0.7 raises and 0.3 folds when it's making this calculation. So this is organized for when we call, bet, and raise, and of course on each street, preflop, flop, turn, and river. Uh, and of course the numbers that appear in red are where we are making the largest mistakes. And if we click any of the hyperlinks below, then that's going to take us to all of those hands where we make those mistakes. Under the weak, medium, and strong categories, weak means that we are betting as a bluff under the bet flop category, for example. And strong means we're betting a strong hand in that kind of situation. And of course, same thing applies for raising. So I think that should all make sense. Uh, it seems like this player has a lot of spots where they're making errors regularly.
Of course, the higher these numbers vary from 100%, then the more errors they're making. So for example, it looks like we are raising weak hands on the flop way, way too often. So that might be the kind of the first spot this player might wanna look at. So hopefully all that makes sense. Let's take a look at playing stats. Here we can see the stats that the player played compared to the stats that Poker Snowy would play. So for example, the VPIP in this case is actually very similar. The, this player is playing 22.2% of hands voluntarily and Snowy would play 22.38. And we can see the preflop raise stats as well, aggression factors by each street, how often we fold on each street, and we have kind of a comparison against what Poker Snowy considers optimal play. We have more stats down here. To understand what all of these mean, you can either hover over it with your mouse, and so the first one is simply means solve flop from small blind, or if you'd like a more detailed analysis, you can simply click the blue question mark, and that's going to direct you to the Poker Snowy website, where it's going to describe all of these stats. But just real quick, this is gonna be soft flop from small blind, one money, one soft flop, one to showdown, one money at showdown, attempted to steal the blinds, folded small blind to steal, and finally folded big blind to steal. Finally, let's click on the final tab, opponents. And this describes all of our opponents play on average. So all of our opponents on average are playing a VPIP of 24.12, a PFR of 15.4 approximately, and again, it's going to have all of these stats for all of the opponents that we faced on average. So this is really helpful to get a feel for player pool tendencies and that kind of thing. So that about covers the filters and statistics within Poker Snowy. Thanks for watching.